Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan P. Butler. This episode is a supplemental episode building on some coverage we've seen before that started with this. Okay. This is the George Lucas AFI Life Achievement Award boxed set. And we saw how basically when George Lucas got the AFI Life Achievement Award back in 2005, everybody got a special little program book, which we've looked at, and certain individuals who were kind of a top tier of guests got something like that. They got this acrylic box set that showed uh, sort of the history of George Lucas on DVD. It had THX 1138, American Graffiti, um, Star Wars films up to that point. Uh, Revenge of the Sith hadn't been released on home video yet. Um, plus, Indiana Jones stuff all on DVD in this nice box. It was just retail releases of stuff you could have gotten anywhere, but a nice acrylic box. We've also taken a look at things like uh, some uh, call sheet type stuff, a uh, special CD that was actually used at the event uh, from someone who was part of the crew and so on. One thing I didn't know about at the time, though, was exactly how that thing was given away. Well, turns out it was not just a swag item, but part of a swag bag. And yes, swag is not a word that is typically in my vocabulary, but it fits conceptually here. Um, and the bag actually included more than just that boxed set. So, when that bag actually showed up whole on eBay recently, I decided, you know what? I've already got the set. Hell, I've already got a backup of the set thanks to Matt Fry that's sitting in my closet. But you know what? I want to be able to show the whole freaking thing. So yes, I wound up picking up a third of those acrylic boxed sets. Uh, eventually I probably will take at least one of them and sell it off or whatever. The problem is they don't ship very easily as we'll see with this one that just like, you know, the first one that I got has some, some issues that would have to be fixed with super glue. But I wanna show you the actual whole swag bag from his AFI Life Achievement Award ceremony, which I believe is complete in this case. So the bag itself is literally a bag. It's this. It is from uh, the uh, Kiehl's, I guess is how you say that, uh, cosmetic company. It says, since 1851. Mine does have some staining to it. Um, I'm going to be using some stain remover on it to fully get rid of that, but I didn't want to wait to do that to actually show you the bag. But the bag itself is kind of cream color. It's got the red straps on it. It does have a luggage tag, except the luggage tag on the other side says AFI, American Film Institute, on it. It's connected uh, my little plastic piece here to one of the straps. You can remove it. It's, it's like a plastic loop kind of thing here. It zips at the top. And then we see what's inside. Apparently, aside from just getting the acrylic box set of those DVD packages, everybody got an action figure for the 2005 line. Now, this happens to be General Grievous. I don't know if it was Grievous for everybody or if they just put a random figure in there, kind of like uh, with those uh, releases of the Star Wars Trivial Pursuit Saga Edition thing, uh, where you could get the package, possibly from BJ's Wholesale Club, um, that had the figure attached that seemed to be random. But General Grievous, at least in this case, still in its packaging there, still on its card, as they say. Then you also had, and this is not in great condition, I'm actually in the process of replacing it, you had a recent printing of the A New Hope novelization, uh, credited to George Lucas, ghost written by Alan Dean Foster, originally published in 1976. Um, the classic adventure that started it all. Then the logo, kind of like what we see on the DVD sets of the time, and the imagery, kind of like the DVD sets at the time. Um, formerly titled Star Wars from the Adventures of Luke Skywalker, George Lucas. Your spine there, Star Wars with the image of Luke, A New Hope, Valentine Books, Del Rey. The back, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, information about it, uh, web address, you know, UPC price and everything, imperial symbol because of the era that it's in, and uh, Lucas Books. Okay, uh, that one, I'm not sure of the actual printing date. I think this particular printing was 2004, uh, which would make sense because of it going along with the artwork from the 2004 DVD set. Then you have a 2004 release of the two-disc CD soundtrack for A New Hope here with a lenticular cover. Um, so... Let me take the lenticular cover out of here so that you can see it. Uh, it's got a little uh, slip with it that tells us what it is we'll look at. 
But yeah, it's a lenticular cover art kind of thing here. Um, it says, original motion picture soundtrack, Star Wars A New Hope with the four behind it. Same imagery. Music composed and conducted by John Williams. A similar insert in there as well for that, which folds out. To give you info on one side, but then poster on the other side. And then the discs. You have soundtrack disc one there with Luke. And fold it out this way. Disc two there with Vader. In both cases, it's original motion picture soundtrack, Star Wars with the four behind it, A New Hope, music composing conducted by John Williams, with the track listing over here, the legalese, the different logos like Compact Disc, Sony Classical, Lucasfilm, um, FBI anti-piracy warning stuff there and on the bottom, just with either Luke or Vader. Inside the escape pod, on the back, the X-Wings there, logo again. Uh, unlock and go. Use these CDs to access special Star Wars content, web pages, and more. All the tracks, Sony Classical, Lucasfilm, DSD, Anti-Piracy, Producer George Lucas, Legalese, Piracy Warning with UPC. It is punched, which I believe typically happens if it's something that's done as a giveaway, and it does note a two CD up there on the top. The sticker that's on it when you get it, it was in the original shrink wrap, but the shrink wrap was peeling, so I did open it up and everything, as if I wouldn't have opened it up anyway, you know me says, um, special two CD deluxe edition includes a never before seen Star Wars poster, collect a different one in each CD, unlock and go exclusive screensavers in each CD, newly remastered Sony DSD with what appears to be a product number underneath it. And that was on the shrink wrap. I just cut it off. Then this person included their original folder. This says a 33rd AFI life achievement award attribute to George Lucas guest seating AFI. I uh, had a little bit of coffee stain there. I thought I could get rid of the coffee stain with a little bit of whatever I was using. Uh, didn't work so much as it just kind of took away some of the friggin' paper layer. Nothing on the back, but this is the guest seating information we saw before. But it does have a little folder flap that says uh, 33rd AFI Life Achievement Award, a tribute to George Lucas as well. I'm not sure if this would have been just handed to someone or actually inside their bag. Probably more handed to them and this person just stuck it in the bag. But then, of course, the biggest thing in the bag is going to be that boxed set. Which is why I didn't show you in detail a moment ago. All right, the George Lucas AFI box set. This one is still sealed. Downside being that this one, um, you notice here the sides are starting to split. Um, if that's the worst of the damage you get when you get one of these in the mail, consider yourself lucky. I've seen these shattered when they show up in the mail. But yeah, apparently the swag was not just getting a program, which is not included in there. Having your seating thing, I guess, that you could take home as a souvenir, as this person apparently did. Or even the acrylic box set of the DVDs. Instead, you also got a novel, a CD, or a pair of CDs as a CD release, and a Grievous or perhaps other figure from the 2005 product line. Kind of cool, kind of big. I guess that one's going in the closet too, just for a place to put the freaking thing. Um, but nice to actually get a chance to see how the swag bag was composed, presumably now with all the stuff in it. Um, I didn't realize that's how it would have been given. I figured it was just like maybe a bag, like a plastic bag or something with that set in it, but you know, silly me to think that Hollywood would ever do anything uh, when it came to uh, celebrating itself, although Lucas was kind of outside of Hollywood for the most part, or giving gifts to itself uh, in a half-assed fashion. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be replacing the book because, again, this one is kind of dinged up and whatnot. I have a replacement on the way um, that will look a little bit better when I stick it in the bag. Um, this I'm going to hang on to. I'm not going to try to get one that doesn't have a hole because the hole is apparently part of the experience, and I'm just going to leave this sucker closed. Uh, and stick them all in the bag, clean up the outside of the bag, and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll look nice in the book as a nice little side topic here as we talk about the uh, acrylic set that was uh, already covered in the previous edition but getting more coverage in the updated second edition. Uh, with that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers and apparently the swag bag recipients, whoever the heck they were.